Bob loves nudes. What's up? It's Aurelius. And today we are going to paint this. All right, so I'm an artist, so I've eaten a lot of ramen noodles. I mean, that's what we survive on. Ramen and exposure, artist diet 101. All right, here we go. This is Bob. If you don't know anything about Bob, I, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should uh, watch my last video, um, the Bob Project Director's Cut. It'll tell you everything you need to know. And, you know... I don't get it if you don't know who Bob, Bob the Robot is. Anyhow, here we go. This is a painting, and it starts off with a drawing. I made this painting once already on my iPad in Procreate for March of the Robots. And one of the prompts was fuel. So I had Bob eating ramen or pho maybe at... A noodle shop somewhere in southeastern Tokyo I don't know where he was he doesn't have a GPS he just goes wherever he wants and you know there's some yellow he's yellow Bob's yellow robot but yeah so first time I, I ate ramen noodles I was at my friend Frank's house and I was hungry, and he had some ramen. He was always eating ramen. The guy's ramen master, and he gave me, I guess it was roast beef flavor, which was really good, but you don't see it anywhere anymore. There used to be much more flavors of instant ramen at the grocery store. Now there's like three. Some kind of ramen conspiracy. They don't want us to have flavor. You know, they're like, Screw all these stupid Americans. They don't need flavor. White people don't like spices. Get out of here. And I thought it was a dope design, so I put it on a t-shirt. The t-shirt is dope. I got one in the mail today. And I think it's the best t-shirt I've done. Bob, eat new, um, noodles. It says... Send nudes. It's a really great t-shirt. You should go to um, getguabified.com and get one of those shirts because they're dope. And this is the painting. We're painting. Time lapse. Got a camera suspended over my head to get this awesome painting action going on. I even thought about pricing my art the other day, like in units of packages of ramen. So let's say, oh, I want two hundred dollars for this painting. How much ramens can I buy for two hundred dollars? And then say, this painting is eighty-seven packages of Nissan Top Ramen. You know, I don't know. I just thought it was fun. It's the weird shit I think about. So, yeah, this painting, I was going to put it for sale, but my girlfriend loves it. So, I don't know if you can really buy this painting, but we'll have to see about that. And then, next coming up weeks, we're going to put it on the wall and, you know, see if she wants it. She gets first dibs. Anyhow, send dudes. I noticed when I, since I've been making this YouTube, that I say anyhow a lot. So one of my favorite words. Anyhow. Anyhow. Um, you know. Anyhow. Got this painting. <laughs> it's going. Now it's upside down. But yeah, it was fun. I was jamming out, listening to headphones. Painting this Bob. That is a Posca marker. Chalk Dirty. She's an awesome sidewalk chalk artist and muralist and artist. She she showed me these markers. 
once. She had a gang of them. And she's like, yeah, these markers are dope. And she let me use them. And I was like, yes. These are the best paint markers ever. And I bought a ton of them. And now I use them a lot. And I can't get enough of them. If you're an artist and you're watching this and you want some tips, get some Posca markers. And make some art with them. And make weird YouTube videos like I do and put them on here. So people can see your awesome art. Send nudes. Get it? It's a double entendre. Nudes. Noodles. Get it? It's fun. And it's art. And it's Bob. This is a good painting. I like this painting. I think it might have to stay with me for a while. So, you're going to have to get the shirt if you want it. Because, yeah, that's my painting now. No one can have it. It's a little weird having a white background, but... I just... I thought it looked dope the way it was, and I didn't want to make a background. And, you know, when I'm painting, I get, I get stuff all over my hands, and I touch the canvas, and it smears stuff on it. So I was like, yeah, I'll make this whole background white. Because then, too, if something does get on it, you can wipe it off. Because... You got that acrylic paint there. Maybe one day I'll do an episode about like how to take care of your painting. Because, you know, we make the paintings, people buy the paintings and they just go live in someone's house forever, you know. How do you how do you get dust off of them? What happens if some spaghetti spills on it? That is the shirt. You get them at www get guava. Maybe I'll spell it on the link or something. I don't know. Subscribe!